Hi everyone, this is Dr. Sneeta Patel. I'm a physiotherapist and working into women's health since many years. I keep supporting females who are suffering from pelvic floor dysfunctions in their life. Um, now, I today I want to share my role with all of you because something I feel somewhere that this particular segment is missing into healthcare. Okay, so let me explain you what is our role. Our role is there starting from puberty. So whenever our girl is going through the puberty changes, so we can definitely as a physios can help in managing better exercise protocol for your girls. So we can uh, reduce that obesity and we can increase the BMR, energy spending capacity of the body and we can also um, even able to manage better circulation better body growth of a female as well as if she's suffering from some issues like depression anxiety unnecessarily exercise has a big role to play so and another thing is if if our girl is suffering from period pain so why to live with period pain not at a girl even we as a women have this period cycle going on and sometimes too much severe cramping which is affecting our life day-to-day -day life it is affecting the school college our jobs our our household our house uh, our family also uh, so period pain is not something which can't be managed so there are uh, like you no know, role of physiotherapy into that you can come to us we can help you in prescribing very good protocol exercise protocol which will be helpful in the longer run as well as if you are suffering from immediate issues immediate pain so we can also manage the pain when you are into pain so we have many modalities like that we have uh, tens which is working on to pain management so we can help you with supporting the tens we can apply uh, uh, hot packs we have heating modalities we can even give you support with the exercise just to relax that uterus and increase the circulations towards the uterus there are major major uh, you know role of uh, some ad other supportive things which we can help you with so if you are someone who has a period pain do not uh, you know just live with the pain solutions are available at least try that solutions another thing i want to tell you that whenever we are going um, towards our sexual life and we are starting our sexual life first time so there's a one misconception that sex is painful so sex can give you a bit discomfort sometimes but sex is not painful sex is a pleasurable activity and uh, if you are feeling pain during penetration you cannot penetrate you have you have pain after penetration you are having pain after sexual activities during sexual activities so these things are not normal things it can be like you know somewhere common but it is not normal and there might be some issues going on with your muscles around that area so we you can contact us and we know how to relax the muscles which is surrounding around this whole vaginal area so um, we understood that you you don't know where to go so yeah come to us we will relax your muscles so these are the muscles all around your vagina we know how to relax that and how to improve that uh, you know even the functioning of that particular region so don't live with pain sexual pain also again contact us and uh, go to your nearest physiotherapy center they will definitely give you the best care the issues like vaginismus when you cannot have penetration issue like dyspareunia sexual pain so it's not something which can't be treated there are treatment possible and uh, yeah and i, I think it's it's um, like at, at a very high extent we can help you and it's not only affecting a girl it is affecting her life couple life and um, so I, I will request you to come to us for um, any period pain and sexual pain when we say that a female is getting pregnant and during pregnancy pregnancy is a beautiful journey it is going to take you towards motherhood so congratulations 
but during pregnancy there are many multiple hormonal changes are going on that is going to give you a lot of uh, different issues changes which is quite normal but sometimes these changes can give you symptoms unnecessary symptoms like uh, back pain is there or you might feel some kind of uh, like coccyx pain you might feel uh, constipation you might feel urine incontinence you might uh, unnecessarily uh, go through the circulatory issues so physiotherapy can help you during pregnancy in managing you your symptoms improving your health by incre- by uh, just managing your better blood circulations and activating your muscles and uh, another thing is like uh, uh, prevention is very important so there should not be unnecessary complications you are going through uh, postnatally and during the labor time period so it's very important that you prepare your body with the help of a physiotherapist and um, you can you should enjoy the journey of motherhood it should not be unnecessary issues you are tackling with even there are some uh, myth that you cannot go for exercise when you have placenta previa or when you have incomplete uh, cervical incompetency in, in, insufficiency or incompetent cervi- cervix is there so you cannot go for exercise so this is myth actually when you are completely on bed rest so try to think what will happen with your circulation what will happen your body because you will be on bed rest for 5 to 6 month Um, so when you are diagnosed with those kind of issues so after that doctors are going to tell you that complete bed rest but this is a time this is a phase when physiotherapy support is required at highly actually we will help in giving you more mobility by taking this complication in our mind we are going to just take care of the positions will not give you exercise in that positions which is going to unnecessarily affect your issues and we respect that but in a different positions right positions we will we can manage a good exercise protocol and can support you during that particular phase it is not only that our journey uh, throughout this journey of pregnancy uh, after that stage when you are deciding that it, your doctor is deciding uh, according to your health conditions that is vaginal delivery is possible or c section is possible according to that we can prepare your body whatever you need as per c section we can prepare you as per vaginal delivery we can uh, help you preparing the relaxing the muscles down there and improving your mus- uh, tissue elasticity so the prevention of uh, unnecessarily uh, episiotomies and perineal tears you know we can minimize the rate of that so exercise has a big role throughout the time and even during preparation of the childbirth in labor we have a big role again the breathing support positional support giving you right positions right movement so easy uh, gravity can affect easy birthing can be helpful unnecessarily without affecting you uh, without giving you more complications as soon as you are delivering a baby and we understood there might be stitches on your perineum there might be stitches on your um, abdominal region so inflammation is something pain is something and discomfort is something which is going to affect you welcome to motherhood but uh, uh, congratulations another thing is that the issues are going on with you and um, pain is there you might have this kind of discomfort uh, positional change pain during the positional change when you are getting up when you are uh, using you are going for a bowel movement your bladder movement you want to pass urine you want to pass stool there might be pain down there because of inflammation and all this kind of bruising physiotherapy has a big role into postnatal postnatal doesn't start after 45 days it start immediately as soon as you deliver the baby we will apply cryotherapy we will apply tens modality is to reduce your pain will apply cryo to reduce the inflammation there are many studies which is supporting the cryo has a huge effect in acute phase and this is acute phase and then if you you are suffering from any pain around the perineum we can apply tens also if you have pain around back we can apply again those kind of med pain management modalities we have very beautiful uh, device uh, we, we call it as a ultrasound so you can also help you and support you with the application of ultrasound which is going to improve the circulation at that area and improving circulation is automatically going to help you in better healing and prevention of scarring and unnecessary additions into that area 
so modalities are there a laser is there irr is there in uh, infrared rays which can help you improving the or mobility into that area so why to live with the pain during that particular important time period when you have to start loving your baby with your maximum but your body is having pain that's why you cannot give your level best at that particular uh, time period so we can make your life more easy so consult us and start having uh, postnatal physiotherapy as an important aspect uh, start adding it it's very important when i was pregnant that care was not there in 2012 but now people are there they are uh, they are around you they are trained into women's health and pelvic floor they will definitely help you in giving the complete complete uh, care during the healing phase and after the healing if the after that the strengthening is required activation is required reeducation of the muscles are required we are there to support you we know the protocol how to strengthen them how to activate the muscles your abdominal muscles your pelvic floor muscles your core your whole body is has go through lot of changes during the pregnancy circulatory issues are also there there might be constipation you you uh, the, is the, which which is left there there might be piles and hemorrhoids so uh, we we can definitely support you with all these issues another thing is um during that later on stages we this kind of right care at a right time postnatally this is the healing phase which is there for ninth month actually postnatal once our whole body goes through the nine month of journey during pregnancy and the changes are going on so you can understand very clearly that it requires another 9 month for better healing better activation better strengthening and coming back to the normal uh, coming back is not a like you know it's automatic process you need some kind of extra support uh, from the expert and um, please 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 don't suffer with this kind of issues we are there to support you whenever you will go towards this uh, midlife cry time period when we have menopause going on or premenopausal time going on or you might be suffering from the issues like uh, urinary incontinence pelvic organ prolapse vaginal laxity after childbirth then you might have adhesions after the surgeries so they can give you further complications in life so we as a physios can prevent all your issues at by giving you the right care at the right time but if you are already suffering from these issues still we can manage still we can help come to us make your consultation uh, do your assessment and at least try to try to know your own body your own health and if there are some issues going on in your body or going on in your very very important perineal health so we guys are there to help you as a women health therapist and as a pelvic rehab therapist don't hesitate and uh, you know now where to go okay don't just uh, like you no know, uh, don't just just be with it and don't just leave with it look for the solution look for physiotherapy center near you and we ha- we are as a women health physiotherapist are there to support thank you so much i will request you to share this video with maximum women um, so they can get their care at the right time they can get their complete care at the right time after all health of a women matters thank you